Hello there, it's me, Carl Welshman, and today is a session day. It's a session day. I'm going to have a few beers, and I'm going to record a few videos. I'll um, try and remember along the way what number beer I'm on, but um, <laughs> I can't promise anything. <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try to be honest, because you know I'm always fucking honest. Now, this has been sitting in my fridge for a bit. And I've been looking at it, and I've been like, hmm, and I've been thinking, and I'm like, well, when's the right time for this sweet, sweet bastard beer from Vault City? This is Strawberry Supernova Modern Sour Beer, coming in at a 10%. Uh, it was one of their special, special beers, five years of sour beer. This was the first one that came with this collection of beers. I think I've had, I think I had the others. They, they had that weird blueberry bubblegum one as well. So it says here, introducing Strawberry Supernova, a piece of Vault City history brewed in celebration of our fifth birthday. A mighty explosion of flavors against glittering star studded skies. Imagine all the mouth watering flavors of juicy strawberries and cream from our original Sky series dialed up to 10.5. Now in a clear bottle showcasing the addition of sparkling gold glitter. So it is a sparkling bottle, hang on. Let me get the light on, don't go anywhere. Hey, 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 you're looking at my gloops, you cheeky. <laughs> Stop looking at my ass. Fucking eyes are here, not in down here. Cheeky monkeys. That is glittering, come on over. You're among friends now. There you go. Look at the sparkle. I hope this is actually beer and not a fucking lava lamp. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give it a little, little turn. It's so sparkly. Let's see. Let's go in for a sniff, guys. Fucking hell. Sour tang, strawberries. Pour it out, let's have a look. What are we dealing with? Shit. Shit. Look how thick this bastard is. I'm gonna just stop there. I'm stopping there. Little sparkly splodge on the top. That's sparkly. That's astute. Looks like fucking tomato juice. I wonder if my um Feces will be sparkling tomorrow. I'll uh, I'll let you know. So sour, 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 sour. You can smell it. If you've seen me do a Vault City review before, then you'll know that I'll probably say, and I am gonna say, it's got that Vault City sourness. They've got a signature sour sniff to their sour beers. And this has got it in abundance. It's making my mouth fucking so fucking juicy. Fucking, and what about this fucking sour taste. Oh. Christ. Christ. It's almost like I can really I can I can smell the alcohol. I'm wondering whether whether it's sat too long or something like that. It tastes great. It really does taste great. Super sweet, strawberries, sour. But I can feel the alcohol. I can feel the alcohol. Usually, usually I don't feel it, but I can feel an alcohol warmth. I'm just at the back. Mm. 
almost wood glue. That's not good. In a good way though, in a good way. I, I don't know. It's, I wonder if it's the, the cream or whatever fucking thing they've put in there. What are we getting guys? What are we getting? Strawberry supernova. Strawberry... Uh, it is an explosion of flavours. Strawberries and cream. I don't know. It's nice. It's really nice, but fucking hell. You couldn't drink too much of that, you know? It's like that fucking sauce that you get on ice cream. Which, you know, when you're licking an ice cream cone, and you've got a little dribble of that fucking raspberry sauce on, you're like, oh, that's really fucking good. And if you're having like a... What are they called? Fucking strawberry, strawberry knickerbocker glory, something like that, or a strawberry sundae. It's really nice when you get that syrup, you know, it is good. But then if someone was to give you a fucking glass of it, you'd be like, hmm, that's a little bit too much. Thank you very much. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting that with this. Maybe it's the glitter. That's a lot of fucking glitter in there. Look at that. Feast your eyes on that, haven't they, if you want. Mm. So, it's a complicated one guys, it's a complicated one because I've been so excited about this and it's, it has been in my fridge for a bit. I did give it a good shake this morning and I give it a, a little bit of a shake before I started this video but um, I don't know, something, there's something I don't like at the back of it. It doesn't taste off. It's almost like the, um, if you've ever had a, 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 if you ever frozen a fucking lager and they separate and you defrost them, you know, they sat at the back of your fridge or something and you, you drink them, you're like fucking hell. Um, it's like a, 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 a tiny touch of that. It kind of reminds me of that. It's like there's something going on Get some more of this in here. Probably some chunks and all sorts. Let's get the rest in. Let's get the rest in there. It's a fucking heavy glass bottle, that. You could do some damage with that. You could take that out into the street and just go up against all sorts of fucking monsters. Maybe fucking werewolves or a Dracula. Fucking mummies. You could definitely smash their fucking heads with that. No props. But if there was, like, loads of Draculas, though, they just do their fucking powers on you. He like hypnotise you and next thing you know he's probably trying to kiss you or do a bum on you or something and then you're kissing him and then fucking Bride of Frankenstein turns up and she's videoing the whole thing and you're like oh for god's sake and then fucking werewolves are there and they're all clapping and howling and one bottle's not going to stop all that happening but perhaps a little, little taste more of this, a little taste more, a little more of this. I don't know. I wonder if the it split a little bit in the bottle because yeah, it's not so chemically. Still getting the warmth of the alcohol. It's still a rich, rich bastard. Incredibly rich. It's like they've condensed a million strawberries, like a, a whole million, million strawberries down into this fucking bottle with the, the, the I was going to say token, the pe pa patented, the well-known, sour, added that to the mix, chucked in a few tubes of glitter. Yeah, there we go, that chemical taste not there now. That's weird, that's weird. Still, it's not my favourite though. It's special. It was expensive. Um, novelty, probably better to share with friends. You know, a few people going, come on, have a taste of this fucking beer. I bet you haven't tasted anything like it. And they'll be like, no, I haven't. And then the first person that you pull the glass for, they're like, it tastes a bit chemically. 
but then you and your friend, you actually like you out the rest of it, and you're like, mm, I don't know what you're talking about, dickhead, it tastes fine. <clears throat> so, strawberry, supernova, paired with, like, they teamed up with more sleuthal beer engineers, coming in at 10.5%. You're all right. I wouldn't buy you again. I wouldn't be, like, going out of my fucking mind trying to get another bottle of you. Um, I certainly, if I saw you on tap, would not be getting the fucking pint of the stuff. This is going to be quite a chore to get through. Um, I'm glad I experienced it. It was a nice novelty. But overall, I think I'm going to have to give this beer a... 7 out of 10. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Be friendly to your friends. Be friendly to your enemies. Um, unless the enemy's done something they shouldn't have. Like when they've got, like they've come into your house, right? And your nan's trying to get some sleep and they've come in and they've gone, just licked your nan's face while she's sleeping and she's all like, oh, my face. Don't be fucking kind to them. Now nah, you give them a little slap. Or, I don't condone violence. Unless, unless they've licked my nan's face. Both of my nans are dead. Have a nice day! And I look forward to having another beer with you soon.